I know it's late in the day and it's very hot outside and sort of our, our collective intelligence level is probably dropping, but I just thought I have to tell you this. Uh, this is so typically the Pearl 6 channel. We take something as, as uh, natural and human as humor and we analyze it to death. So we came up with a new, new type of joke. We call them autopuns. It's not a perfect name. They're not really puns. But they have a certain something that will re remind you of recursion and Douglas Hofstadter. It's not exactly recursion either, but it's related. It's the meta-programming of jokes. So coming after Jonathan in sort of any kind of talk he gives, it's very suitable. Um, I've only tried this on one audience before, and the results were unexpected. So we will see. <laughs> yeah, just you wait. It's like these grate on you. They sort of tickle your brain in some way, and you're gonna see something like 14 or 16 of them. So it'll be heavy. Um, it's blending the use mentioned distinction, just mixing them together in some way, and that creates the humor. And telling you this basically tells you nothing. So I'm going to go through some examples kind of slowly and, and point things out where the use is and where the mention is. And then I will stop doing that and you will have to do the mental work yourselves. So some people when confronted with a problem, no, uh, com common joke, this thing, I know, I've used multi-threading. <laughs> <laughs> so just to point this out very clearly, here's the use. Here's the mention, multi-threading, and then we do something, and that's, you see. Another clear example, mall maintenance shop. We can repair anything. Please knock hard on the door of the belt of <laughs> Use and mention. So you see, it's putting them together. It doesn't have to make much sense. You just go. Wikipedia has been known to contain unsourced claims. <laughs> the argument from authority is the weakest form of argument, according to Boethius. <laughs> actual quote by Thomas Aquinas. Is confirmation bias prevalent? Yes, I see it everywhere. <laughs> Epistemological relativism may be true for you, but it isn't true for everyone. <laughs> there are two types of people in the world. Now we're into just trying to create these autopons on the channel. Those who finish what they start. <laughs> there are two types of people. Those who procrastinate, and the other type, which I'll describe later. <laughs> there are ten kinds of people. There we go. Two, those who know binary, and nine others. <laughs> Haikus are easy, but sometimes they don't make sense. <laughs> circular logic is the best kind of logic, because it's circular. <laughs> this makes no sense, whatever. <laughs> this is frustrating. I want to find out what Juno Sikwa means, but none of the dictionaries seem to know. <laughs> That's not even how you use a dictionary. What do you say, Mr. Kinnock, to all those people who accuse you of blatant electioneering? Vote for me! <laughs> so, Jonathan was warning me I was doing fun stuff on the train here. So watch out for camming, he said. What the hell is camming? <laughs> it took me a few seconds before realizing I was being autopunned. <laughs> so, this was a tweet. Decided to pull a randomly se selected word out of the internet. The word predetermined. <laughs> And by the way, just to finish this off, according to a study by the Office of Incomplete Information, eight out of every ten. <laughs> Thank you very much.